What is going on everybody and welcome back to Mad Detailing. Today's video is going to be on this nasty Ford Ranger. As you guys can tell, this vehicle is definitely seen better days. There is tons of dirt on the paint. The paint is completely oxidized and scratched up. The wheels don't look like they've been cleaned in probably about five years. And on the interior, it doesn't get much better. There's tons of stains on the seats, carpet, tons of trash everywhere. But also, I was able to pick up this vehicle for around $500, which is an absolute steal for this truck. And instead of flipping this truck and making some money, I decided I want to give the truck away to someone locally in need of a vehicle. And I found a kid that is currently walking to work and he has no transportation at all. So I decided to give the truck to him. And I did get his reaction at the end of this video. So please make sure you guys stick around to the very end because it is well worth it. And the kid was super happy. And I really think it made an impact on his life, which makes all of this well worth it. Starting off this detail, I will be cleaning the engine bay first, and for this, I will be using our Extreme APC and a brush, followed by the pressure washer to remove all this dirt and grime that has been built, built up over the years. And honestly, there is no safe way to clean an engine bay, but the only way that I found that is super effective is by using degreaser and a pressure washer. I've been doing this for years now, and I've never had anything fail. So as long as you make sure to disconnect the negative terminal on the battery, you should be fine doing this at home. If you were super scared about it, then just go ahead and don't do it. But I've never had anything fail personally, but just know anytime you do an engine bay, there is a liability that goes into it. So we're going to go ahead and finish this up with compressed air to make sure we dry everything. And we're going to move on to cleaning the bed out of this truck. Now it's time to clean the wheels and for this I'll be using our pressure washer to blast off the excess mud and brake dust that is on the wheels and then I'll be using our extreme APC for the tires and fender wheels and I'll be using our mad acid to clean these wheels which are super disgusting but as you guys can see in this video that mad acid makes quick work of cleaning nasty wheels. If you guys would like to try any of the products I use in this video I'll have the link to our website in the bio and I'll also have a coupon code for you guys to use down below.
you guys are probably wondering on why I'm using the pressure washer first and then the undercarriage attachment tool. And I just believe that the pressure washer does a better job on removing the stuck on grime, dirt, clay, mud, whatever is underneath your vehicle. I just believe it does a better job. But I'll also use the attachment tool as a rinse when I'm done because it does a good job on making sure everything is completely rinsed off. So yeah, that is just why I use the pressure washer first and then the attachment tool. Now that everything has been cleaned and the paint has been pre-rinsed, I'll be using a foam cannon with our super blue soap to put a nice thick layer of foam on this truck. And then I'll be using our brand new mad detailing 100% boys hair brushes to get in all the cracks and crevices of this truck. And then I'll be using our new mad detailing microfiber wash mitt. And I'm super stoked on these brushes. They come in a five piece set and they are 100% boys hair, so they're super soft, and they can be used on all interior and exterior surfaces. So if you guys are in the market to buy a high-quality set of detail brushes or wash mitts, the link will be down in the description, so you guys can pick some up today.
Starting off the seed extraction, I'll be using our extreme APC followed by a drill brush to agitate the surface. Then I'll be using our mighty HP extractor to suck up all this nasty, deeply embedded staining. And also, I repeat this same process multiple times on pretty much every seat that I do. And the reason for this is because you don't want any stains coming back up, which is what we call wicking. So that's why I repeat the same process multiple times. And you guys will see that throughout the video.
considering how old this truck really is, I thought I was going to run into some problems with the resprays or the panels not coming as clean as they are. But I was super happy when I started cleaning the interior of this vehicle and realizing that everything underneath all this filth is pretty much brand new. So I am super excited about that. And also the seats came out insane. There was one little rip on the center console, but other than that, the seats look pretty much like they did when they came from the factory. I get a ton of comments on people asking how do I clean seat belts and the answer to that is I use our extreme APC and a steamer to remove all the grime and then I go back with a microfiber to wipe it all clean and I pretty much do this to every vehicle and every seat belt and also I do show a short little clip on how I clean headliner it's pretty much the same process the only thing I do differently with the headliner is I don't spray the all-purpose cleaner directly onto the headliner because you don't want to create too much moisture on the headliner or else it will sag. So I spray the all-purpose cleaner onto a microfiber, wipe it, hit it with some steam, and then wipe it again. And I will repeat the same process until the stain is removed. So yeah, I just want to let you guys know that I do clean these seatbelts in the headliner in every single one of my videos, but it's just sometimes hard to film everything. So I try to show you guys as much as possible, but I hope that clears up a lot of questions that you guys had.
Moving on to the carpet extraction, it is pretty much the same exact thing as the seats. But with this carpet, honestly, I don't even know how many hours I have into it. I know I started this around lunchtime and by the time I was finished with the carpet, it was dark outside. So yes, I have about, I don't know, maybe seven, eight hours in this carpet alone. So yes, it would be cheaper to go ahead and replace the carpets, but as a detailer, that seems kind of pointless to me because the whole purpose of these videos is to show you guys how well cleaning can actually do for a vehicle and a lot of things do not need to be replaced. So that is why I do not replace them in my videos. But yes, to answer a lot of your questions, it would be cheaper to go ahead and replace it.
So moving on to the exterior of this vehicle, the first thing I'll be doing is clay barring the entire truck and that will be to remove all the deeply embedded contaminants that were not removed during the wash. Taking in consideration how destroyed this paint really is, I didn't want to get too aggressive in it because I know the clear is low on it. So all I'll be using is our Rupes Mark III polisher with a microfiber cutting pad and some compound and I will be lightly going over the entire truck to remove as much oxidation and scratches as I can and I will repeat this same process on the entire vehicle.
So to finish this detail off, I'll be using our Slick Coat, which is a six month SiO2 based sealant and is super amazing on leaving a high gloss finish and is insanely hydrophobic. If you guys would like to pick up a bottle of your own, the link will be down in the description below. I would definitely give this product a try. What's up today? What's going on? Nothing. See this truck right here? Yeah. I know you've been walking to work every day for the past, what, two months now? Just about, yeah. So I just bought this truck, I just fully detailed it, and I want to give it to you for free. You owe me nothing. Like free free? Free? You're kidding me. No, dude. It's all yours. Dude, this is like perfect timing. I was just looking to buy a truck too. Are you serious right now? Yeah, the keys are in it. And the title is in the glove box. It's crazy. What do you think? Thank you. Like, oh my god. Like you sure? Free? Free. Hundred percent free. Dude, thank you, thank you. No more walking for me. Alright, so before you get going, I got you a full box of all of our detailing products. You can keep the truck looking nice. Keep it fresh. Dude, thanks. You really didn't have to do all that. This is plenty already. Oh man, don't worry about it. Thank you, thank you. Alright, you're good to go. Appreciate it. <laughs> 